Hey guys, my name is Shikian and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. And for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my April favorites. These are the items that I am currently enjoying and keeping me busy during this quarantine. I have a long list. Like, I have electronics, apps, TV series, books, music, and so much more. Basically, we have a lot to cover, so let's dive straight into it. The first item that I have on my list would be Audible, which is an audiobook streaming app. I like it because when I feel na magkakaroon ako ng reading slump, I usually pick an audiobook up. Because it's much more convenient, all you have to do is listen to it. Also, nakaka-relax siya for me, especially kapag magaling yung voice actor. So in connection with that, our second item is word search. So kapag nakikinig ako ng audiobook, ayoko nang wala akong ginagawa. Like for example, 14 hours yung audiobook, tapos wala akong gagawin. I feel so useless. So to keep me busy, I'm doing word search. Actually, onti pa lang yung nagagawa ko. Ito pa lang. But it's definitely a calming activity for me and I do recommend this combo. And since I like listening to audiobooks, sometimes I do so using a speaker. So the one that I have is this JBL Go To speaker. Actually, free bilang to nung binili namin yung TV namin. We also have the regular sized one, but I prefer this one because it's much more portable. I bring this with me in the shower when I listen to music and listen to audiobooks as well. Ginagamit ko lang yung malaki pag wala na tong battery. Also, for its size, it produces quality sound naman. So, before pa nga nung quarantine, hindi ko siya masyadong ginagamit. Pero ngayon, may quarantine and I have a lot of time, I use this almost every day. The next item on my list is something I'm currently using, which is my cell phone. I have an iPhone 11, which I bought last March, and it's what I've been using to film and edit all my videos. And for a beginner in YouTube, you don't really have to have the latest gadgets. All you need is a phone with a good camera. And for me, out there in the market, iPhone 11 is still the best. And kung camera lang naman yung habol nyo, I suggest to get the iPhone 11. It's really worth it. And the quality is really good. And since we're on the topic about phones, let's talk about some apps that I'm currently using and loving lately. First one being Memrise. It's what I've been using to learn the Korean language. And during this quarantine, I believe it's a perfect time to explore new hobbies and learn new things, right? And uh, Korean being my foreign language way back in college, I have already the foundation. I know the alphabet, I can count, I can read, but sadly I don't understand. So currently, I'm learning phrases. And then another app to assist me with my journey to learn Korean would be Quizlet. So it's a flashcard type of studying. So I just put the notes and then you can review. They will give you tests as well. I think it's the best way to memorize vocabulary. The reason why I started studying again is because I've always had this dream of staying in Korea for at least a year or so. Sort of like a gap year where I just travel all around and learning their language helps me get one step closer to that goal. Also, being bilingual is always a plus in any industry and since I have the foundation down, might as well continue, right? And learning a new language is always something that we should invest in. Speaking of Korean, I just recently rediscovered a K-pop group that I have been loving and obsessing about ever since, which is GOT7. I'm a proud Agase. I happened upon them while watching Weekly Idol, which is a Korean variety show. And out of all the K-pop groups that was featured on that show, their episodes was the most fun and entertaining. Wala silang kaya, and I mean that in a good way. Also, nakikisakay lang sila sa mga jokes ng host. So after watching all their episodes, I search for their songs and their songs are so good! Actually, they just re uh, released a mini album called Die and your favorite track would be Not By The Moon. You should listen to it, it's really good. Also, just a side question, I just want to ask who your bias is in God 7 Ako, I obviously love them all. And sila lang yung K-pop group na lahat ng members gusto ko. Kasi mostly sa ibang groups, may one or two members ako na hindi ko feel. Pero sa, kan sa GOT7, lahat sila gusto ko. And my bias would be Young J. Ang galing niya lang kumanta, ang ganda ng vocals niya. And yung smile niya, guys, it's so precious! Oh my god! I'm a 
fangirling again. I'm sorry. Anyways, before I ramble on and on about them, let's move on to another section which would be entertainment. In this section, I'll be sharing with you my top two series that I have been enjoying recently. Both are K-dramas and are still ongoing. First one being Kingdom. So in this story, we follow the crown prince as he tries to figure out what happened to the king. Since the queen and his father, the leader of the Hewon Cho clan, wouldn't permit him or anyone else from seeing the king due to this mysterious illness that they won't disclose. So the crown prince and his personal guard will set off on a journey to meet with the physician who diagnosed the king to figure out if he's still alive or not. And along the way, we'll meet some friends to help him. Once they figure out what this illness was, now they are on a mission to stop it from spreading any further. So I really like the storyline and how complex it is. It's not just focused on the illness itself. There's also a political aspect. And for me, for those who's not a fan of K-dramas, I think you'll still like this one. So I definitely recommend. The last series that I have would be Born Again. We follow two men and one woman. So in 1980, there's this serial killer at large who's mainly been targeting women. We follow the detective who's on the case, his lover who owns a bookshop, and the son of the serial killer. Obviously, it didn't end well and they are reincarnated 30 years later. So the detective is now a prosecutor, the woman is now an archaeologist, and the son of the serial killer is now a medical student. So I'm excited to see how the characters will interact with each other since they're kind of getting flashbacks from their past lives. And I want to see how each character will get the closure that they need. So yeah, I, I think... There's already four episodes out, so you can check it out. Lastly, we're gonna talk about some snacks or some spreads that I have been enjoying lately. So the first one would be Nutella, which is a classic. I've been having this almost every night. So I've been sleeping at around 5 a.m. daily. It's a new norm for me now, and then I wake up the next day at around 11 a.m. So I definitely need a midnight snack because we eat at around like 7, 8 a.m. So it's a must. And then the next one would be this one, um, Smok Smokers Strawberry Preserves. I really like this one because it has like real strawberry chunks and big ones. And I like to pair it with butter. I'm actually going to try it, try to pair this with Nutella to see if it's good. And that's a wrap! That's all the things that I have been loving this April. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, see you on the next video. Bye!